Hello, my friends. Nice to see you all here. So today we will have a new interesting lesson about uh, just we will begin to make beautiful tablecloth shantaya. And now I will check the sound. Great. So we can start. I will show you my material. And uh, now this is a crochet course about tablecloth shantaya. And this is lesson number one. Uh, this is how it looks, tablecloth shantaya. Uh, this one is uh, very beautiful, made with transition of colors from yellow. Next, we have very bright, like orange red colors, and after a really interesting uh, brown color, but it like like um, I can say orange brown, uh, beautiful color, not too dark, and everything uh, together looks really great. And um, how how I made this all transition of colors? I used my Italian viscose, and this uh, thread is very thin, so it's like a thickness of sewing thread. Uh, that's why I took three threads together, joined them, and make yes first uh, one row. After I cut one of these three threads and join another color and continue to make next row. So in this case I uh, just make everything uh, slowly. I go from one color to another step by step by cutting one thread each time and I add each time new color. So like this it works and I change it colors here three times. So I made three steps like this and uh, that's why we received such interesting result. But also I really like to make such tablecloths in one color. Like you can see here, uh, this one I made from the same Italian viscose in white color. Just I took the same three threads in white color. And uh, we have only uh, one color everywhere. So this is also uh, just to show you how it looks in one color. And the main, uh, the, ma the most popular color is like white for tablecloths. Next, about where you will find schemes, you will see them today, but also you can visit our free crochet patterns group. There we have, I think, more than 50 uh, crochet uh, motifs, laces, a few projects. There we, you will find all schemes. And I will show you now how to work with this group, how to download schemes, uh, free schemes, yes, about these beautiful elements and projects. So this is our free crochet patterns group by JT House Crochet School. So you, you will join to this group, yes, and here you need to press photos after choose albums. And you will start to see, yes, separate albums. Each album is about one motif, about one lace, or about projects. In this moment we have three projects. Uh, it's about this tablecloth Madeleine, about Bailey tablecloth, uh, also about Leia. It's like tunique, summer tunique this and when you will open one of these albums you will see all schemes that are used for this tablecloth uh, also you can download these schemes and use them also you will see results of my friends yes incredible results for example this one made also from italian viscose made by my friend lynn from france and she made a really gorgeous work so delicate and fantastic colors i love this result so it's uh, really something special like this. Also we have a result, I will show you yellow one, this one. Uh, just my friends, they can change the design a little bit, but they used these old schemes for elements and also how to join them and they made such really incredible uh, blouses. So, once again, uh, visit our free crochet patterns group by GT House. Uh, choose photos after choose albums. Next you have you have here button. Just press this button and you will see a lot of beautiful elements. Just uh, look here and find something for your next crochet projects. I am sure you will enjoy these all elements. I really love to make them. For example, flower talisman. It's my first motif that I created, my outer motif. So you can take from here uh, this scheme and work, make beautiful flowers and create really uh, just fantastic uh, crochet projects. So this was information about where you will find schemes for our new project and also you can use any any projects that we have here. So next about a tablecloth, Shantaya. 
few words, just few words about threads because this is the most beautiful threads that I've seen in my life. I created uh, a lot of dresses, collections, and I love to use thin threads to make very delicate lace for wedding dresses, for evening dresses, for summer, something like summer suits or uh, beautiful and very tender blouses. And during my uh, work, yes, it was uh, more than 15 years, I tried different threads. In one moment I find, found this thread and we have two variants now two firms Italian Viscos and that's all I love this thread and all the time I just uh, buy a lot of these threads different colors I try to find them it's not so easy to find them and I just combine different uh, colors uh, I love to make transition of colors and this is the most beautiful thread that I've seen so if you want uh, to just to try first time how to work with such thread uh, you can visit our jetty house yarn store o only um, there you will see such threads and uh, if only in our store you can order small balls I I and mean, just uh, i don't know any stores that will do this for you we have uh, we just we will make for you balls 50 grams and you can order for example 300 grams for tablecloths or 400 grams for blouse or top and for dress you need around around uh, 700 grams or 800 grams so let's see um, our store it's like JT house yarn store and um, this is a really a fantastic thread and I just tasted them a lot of years to my work so I hope this was useful information for you I think each of you can try just one time in your life to work with such thread and after this you will decide uh, it's a really nice thread for your projects or maybe you like to use for example cotton or something else uh, just my, my style is very tender lace and very tender dresses so now we will start our lesson I will show you how to make first part and everything I will uh, try to make slowly so just uh, once again uh, we will use uh, difficult stitches I will show you everything step by step here we have just symbols uh, that standard stitches yes basic stitches in our work and now I'm using a um, still small steel crochet hook in size 1.75 millimeters. Also can be two millimeters for my work. I, li I like to use also. And a needle with big eye just uh, to hide all tails, uh, tails. A lot of tails we need to hide uh, if you are making just uh, uh, just uh, if you are making yes the individual elements and you are changing colors so you have a lot of tails even in one element i think uh, for one of my dresses i have in one motif 12 different colors just step by step i change it colors and uh, in this case i hide 24 tails in one motif so it's really must have for for my work and uh, about threads i already told you so we start first lesson about tablecloth shantaya um, my, my advice just to use a uh, really thin thread and uh, just in this case you will receive the same tender result uh, I see you say it perfect thank you so much I'm very happy that I read the, uh, your name good thank you so uh, first part uh, this one we will start from the middle part and let me show you you know I took this scheme from internet because I love the design and I wanted to learn how to make such uh, yes such tablecloths and uh, I try to make it yes now I can tell you how I made it and each step I know now how to do the, uh, the best uh, so let's start uh, in the beginning I made eight chain loops and joined them to the ring first I will tell you a few words next we will start to make it after we have uh, three chain loops to move up it's very small but I can make it a, bit, a little bit bigger it's not good quality of scheme but I cannot find better for this lesson but don't worry you will see everything how to do so we have uh, three chain loops to move up it's here next to the to the left side three chain loops and this is beginning after we have double crochet so this stitches we will make around the circle and after we have three chain loops again double crochet around the circle in this way we will make seven double crochet and in the end we have three chain loops and slip stitch just joining to the third chain loop where we made this switching loops to move up 
So, and we will finish first circle. Uh, each time when you start to make such, yes, uh, tablecloths from circle and from first row like this, everything should be very accurate. If you will make it too loose, it will just turn to the center and you, it will be just um, really, really bad. Uh, and so, just start, make everything uh, not, not loosely, small and accurate. And in this way you, you will have beautiful flower in the middle part of this tablecloth. So I think we can start. Um, or more, maybe one more row because this one is very easy. After we will start to make first row of petals of this beautiful flower. And um, we have here in this moment how many five chain loops to move up. Yes, five chain loops to move up. After we have three double treble crochet to one, one point. Uh, and here we have one nuance. I will show you now how to start. Yes, this one. After we have three chain uh, loops and four stitches starting from one point uh, from here. And I try a few variants and I like to join the stitches direct to one chain loop. Because we have three chain loops, so we have middle one. And to this one middle chain is better to join all these uh, four stitches and they will look much more beautiful, uh, very accurate petals we will get and like this. Next just repeat the same in the circle. In the end uh, you will see uh, you will have first row for, for eight petals. So let's start. I will show you my hands and we can work. Uh, beautiful, I really love si uh, this one part. We have it two times. Uh, also in the end of this work, it looks really gorgeous, especially from this tender thread, this part, I love very much. And uh, we have such beautiful petals all the time during the work, also in the middle we have such part, and today I will show you this part, and such transition of colors, yes. And also from this white thread, we have also beautiful result, such petals, yes, beautiful leaves, looks like this. And also middle part, really nice, with also with these leaves, looks great. So now we can start. Just I will show you, today I will use another thread, also Italian viscose, uh, one of my threads that I used for my dresses, it's Sapphire Lux, you can also see them at our JT House yarn store, and we have different colors, even multicolored threads, they are very interesting, because if you are making, for example, elements uh, from two p pink threads, different, yes, colors, you can next join them by using this uh, multicolored thread, and in this way you will have really interesting design. I love to use some uh, this thread just to make a joinings between elements, and we have different, uh, yes, such multicolored threads in our store. You can choose, for example, brown, gold, or uh, blue colors, and you can uh, just choose uh, multicolored threads in the same colors. And two more, it's uh, like olive color. Also, I used it, it for my uh, Angelica dress for, for skirt. And this one dark for some parts of leaves. It's a very dark green thread. So this one I will use today, just another color. I will use very beautiful golden uh, brown, and brown and gold thread and I will show you first rows by using such thread. My small steel hook. By this one hook I made all my dresses. My favorite one, 0.75 millimeters. And the needle to hide tails, such one I, I have with big eye just to hide all tails. Okay. So now we can start to make the first part. So first we have 18 loops joined to the ring. When I start, I'm I don't like to make knots. I just take like this thread, a working thread. Next, pull up by crochet hook. Next, make a circle around. Yes. After I need to catch this point where we have this first loop and uh, next yarn over and make first loop. Like this I like to end just 
fix this first loop. Next, I chain loops. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we have I chain loops. A video about how to start first loop and how to make chain we have also at our YouTube channel. So you can see uh, if you want one more time how to make such uh, beginning, how to make the chain. Next, uh, insert hook to the first chain loop. Now make yarn over and draw thread through this loop and also through this one. Next, I like to take this tail to the right side, to this one. So I will take two threads together, yarn over, and draw them to the right side till I will see tail at the right side like this. Next I will make small this working chain loop a loop and now I can start. This will be like first chain loop to move up. Next two more. This we have on the graphic three chain loops to move up. Next three chain loops more to start our first row. One, two, three. So we have in total six chain loops. Next one time yarn over, insert hook be below this circle and make double crochet. Okay, we have first stitch. Now again, one, two, three chain loops, one time yarn over, insert hook to the middle of this circle and make double crochet. Again, one, two, three, three chain loops, one time yarn over, insert hook to the middle and make double crochet like this and repeat the same one, two, three chain loops and one double crochet you can also start with me because I will show everything very slowly so you can watch and repeat just uh, uh, together with me just repeat uh, the same and in this way after a few lessons you will make this table close because this will be a long lesson <laughs> about first few rows and it will be nice to make this project together with you so you can take threads and make this first rows in this moment together with me if you, if you have chance and if you want. So we have six, one, two, three chain loops, one double crochet to the middle one, two, three chain loops and the last one we have I already made six double crochet now the last one also around the circle uh, please write to the chat maybe someone are making together with me this uh, tablecloth in this moment one, two, three At the last we have three chain loops and now the last uh, to finish this row I will make joining so like you remember we have six chain loops here in the beginning so I need to count one two three to the third chain loop insert hook to the middle make yarn over and draw thread here and also through this loop that I have on my hook and now we have this middle part the circle and we can start row number two for this like I told you, I will show you one moment how you uh, need to start. So we need to move a little bit to the left because we will start like from the middle of this first arch. For this, insert hook to the next chain loop and make slip stitch. Insert hook, yarn over and draw through this loop and also through this one. Okay, and one more time because we have three chain loops so I need to reach to the middle one. Insert hook to the next chain loop make like this and make slip stitch okay so now we have the rise of the right placement of our crochet hook and our working thread from here we can start to make I'm just watching <laughs> okay sorry for this uh, will be long yes and showing because I want to show you everything so now uh, just um, we need to move up five chain loops one two three four five five chain loops to move up and now i will make how many stitches uh, two three stitches uh, to the same point where we start this time i will make double treble crochet so three times yarn over 
make these loops very close to the top of the hook. In this way you will make stitches accurate. Insert hook to the same point where we started this chain and make just standard double treble crochet. Okay, now I will show you once again. One, two, three times yarn over. Insert hook to the same point. Yarn over, draw long loop. Yes, and now yarn over and draw through two loops on your hook. Yarn over and draw through two loops. Again, through two loops and the last time. And now, again, one, two, three times yarn over. And once again, to the, uh, insert hook to the same point and just each time draw thread through two loops on your hook till you will finish this stitch. Okay, and now we have five chain loops that we made in the, in the beginning and three double treble crochet. Okay, and next, a very accurate make three chain loops. One, not too tight, but very very nice. <laughs> After uh, we have next arch yes between two double crochet stitches. So to the middle chain loop I will make four double treble crochet. So for this um, we need to start from three times yarn over, make them close to the top of the hook, find this middle chain loop, but don't make like this. You will insert if you will insert hook below one thread you will make really big hole so just insert hook below two threads two threads in this way you will not stretch this one chain loop and everything will look much more better now start to make yes this big stitch make loop next yarn over and draw through two loops on your hook again through two loops two loops and again finish to make the stitch Again, one, two, three times yarn over, insert hook to the same point and make again such big stitch. Make everything accurate. In this way you will get beautiful flower in the beginning. It's also very important. Three times yarn over, close to the top of the hook, insert hook to the same point and make double treble crochet. Okay. And the last time, one, two, three times yarn over and insert hook to the same point. Please write to the chat, uh, do you understand uh, everything in this moment that you saw just? Next we have switching loops, one, two, three, make accurate this work and start to work with new arch. Again, make three times yarn over and insert hook to the middle chain below two threads. And now start to make beautiful stitch, not too loose and not too tight. One, two, three times yarn over and again make the same. Susan, I am trying to crochet along. Great, thank you, thank you so much. So if you will not understand something, just tell me. <laughs> In this moment we need to repeat the same. One, two, three times yarn over. Four stitches to one chain loop, to the middle chain loop. Double treble crochet, like this. Four stitches, all the time. Now switching loops, not too tight. One, two, three. And Next, three times yarn over, find again middle chain loop and make double treble crochet. Again, one, two, three times yarn over and make big stitch. I hope someone will make this tablecloth just even this first part of the first lesson and you can make photos and send to our free crochet patterns group. I will add these photos to our album and we will just see step by step your work. In the end we will see just beautiful results. Will be much more interesting to work. And again I will repeat the same to the middle chain. I will make four stitches. One, two, three. So we have again three times yarn over and make double treble crochet one two three and double treble crochet one 
and uh, three. In total, in this flower, we have eight petals. And they consist of two rows, yes, during two rows uh, we will just see this flower. So now three times yarn over and start to make the same. So now I am working from one of my favorite threads and you can see that you don't need to be afraid if you're afraid to work with thin thread or you think maybe it's too slippery. You just need to try a few times and just uh, you will use uh, for the, to this thread, you will find, yes, the way to hold it and everything will be okay. So now we have four stitches and again one, two, three chain loops and start to make again. Okay, one, two, three. Soon I will finish this row, second row, and we will look to the next one. So after this few lessons you will make really difficult tablecloths, I can say, because there we will, we will have really big stitches and a really difficult one. And I will tell you everything, how to make it, yes, good from first time. You will know all nuances, so it will be really interesting. I am sure that you will like it and you will place it at your home and this will be nice decoration for your tab table clothes. One, two, three. So we have three stitches, one more. So we need to check, we have eight petals, yes, we have eight. So the last is three chain loops, one, two, three. Find these five chain loops that we made in the beginning. One, two, three, four, to the fives, insert hook, below two threads, yarn over and make this slip stitch. Draw threads through everything by one time. Okay, so we have our beginning beautiful accurate five, eight uh, chain loops uh, sorry eight petals and now we can start to make next row number three let's look to the graphic first okay so after we finish uh, this second row we will talk about row number three uh, to start this row we need to make five chain loops to move up next we will make again three double treble crochet but this time we will join them at the top point and this I will show you after we will have this uh, transition to another yes stitches in this case we need to make six chain loops this work will be also very important because this chain is really big but it's uh, the most important is to make it with right tension of thread uh, this all loops should be not too tight not too loosely and uh, uh, you should be uh, very accurate at this point next we have this um, corners yes a very beautiful looks like cups or something like this uh, we have also 16 loops after I will show you this very interesting stitch I really like uh, this one and for today this will be one of interesting stitches that I mm, just a combination of stitches that I, that I want to show you so uh, let's start in the circle we will repeat the same uh, and uh, just in the end we will have very interesting moment also so let's work this will be row number three let's see how to make it so first start from five chain loops where is my light okay so start to make five chain loops not too tight one two three four five very accurate. Next, one, two, three times yarn over, make it close to the top of your hook. Insert hook below two threads, at, just to the next stitch, yes, below two threads. Next, yarn over, make loop. After, just draw thread through two loops each time. One time, second time, third. Now you need to leave two threads on your hook. We don't, uh, we don't need to finish the stitch right now. Next, one, two, three times yarn over. Insert hook below two threads into the next stitch, yes, that we have in previous row, below two threads. 
yarn over, make loop, and next just make standard yes part. Don't finish the stitch, you should have three loops on your hook. Again, one, two, three times yarn over. Insert hook to the last stitch that we have here, below two threads. Next, yarn over, make a loop, and again make standard part. In the end, you should have four loops on your hook. Yarn over and join them all together. Next, 16 loops. Like I told you, be very careful. Make them a little bit loosely, not too tight. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay? Uh, next, let's look to the graphic. I will look now. Okay, we should make 4 stitches to the stitches of previous row and join them at the top point. So make 3 times yarn over. Make these loops very close to the top of the hook. Insert hook below two threads here at the first stitch, below two threads at the top we have these two threads, and start to make our stitch, first one. Okay, we have two threads now, two loops on the hook. Now one, two, three times yarn over, insert hook below two threads to the next stitch, and make like this. Now you should have three loops on your hook. Again, one, two, three times yarn over and insert hook below two threads and start to make double treble crochet, but don't finish the stitch. Again, one, two, three times yarn over and make the last stitch. In the end, you should have this time five loops on your hook. Yarn over and draw this thread through everything in one time. Now uh, we need to make 16 loops and we will start to make this beautiful cup. So let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Make them accurate. Not too tight, not too loosely. Uh, now, how to start? How many stitches? Uh, 1, 2, 3, 5 times yarn over. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Make them very close to the top of the hook. When you are making such long stitches is the most important. Now insert hook again to the first stitch. I think, no, sorry, sorry, not here. Between, between these two parts, we have here three chain loops. So to the middle chain loop, insert hook below two threads. Yarn over and make loop. Now one, two, three, four, five, and six times, yes, like this. To finish this long stitch with five times yarn over. You need to finish it. You should have only one loop on your hook after, yes. Next, uh, we will make two stitches with three times yarn over, so double treble crochet. One, two, three. Make them close to the top of the hook, these loops. Now, we have this long stitch. Here we need to find the right place, so we need to skip first one. Here we have this first yarn over, after we have second one. To this area, insert your hook, just in the middle of the stitch, below two threads, like this. Yarn over, make a loop, and now continue to make double treble crochet, like standard stitch, yes, and finish it. And the last one, one, two, three times yarn over, make them close to the top of the hook, insert to the same point where we just made stitch before, and make again double treble crochet, standard stitch, and finish it. So we have our cup, yes, just we started from big stitch with five times yarn over, and now we have two double treble crochet, that's all. Uh, now we can make again 16 loops, one, two, three, four, five, six. Accurate, be careful. And now start to make the same part like we have here. Four stitches join it together at the top point. We will work with the next, yes, this part. So one, two, three times yarn over. Start to make first double treble crochet. Don't finish it. You should have two loops on your hook. One, two, three times yarn over. Again, insert hook below two threads and start to make double treble crochet. Don't finish the stitch. You should, you should have three loops on your hook. 
Uh, now again, one, two, three times yarn over, and again insert hook below two threads and make double treble crochet, but don't finish it. You should have now four loops on your hook. And the last one, one, two, three times yarn over and make double treble crochet. Okay? So now we have five loops on the hook, yarn over and make this joining. Yes, finish to make this joining. <laughs> oh my god, your nails are so beautiful. Thank you so much. <laughs> so nice to hear from you. I am very happy that you like it. <laughs> okay, next. So we have uh, next 16 loops, very accurate. One, two, three, four, five, six. 16 loops. Now we will make the same. So we take this part and start from one, two, three times yarn over. The most important, make these all loops very close to the top of the hook. Now start to make double treble crochet to the first stitch. But don't finish this stitch. You should have three loops on your hook. One. A awesome tutorial. Thank you so much. <laughs> you are so kind. <laughs> I'm very happy. Thank you for comments. It's so na nice to read some comments from you. Thank you. Next, one, two, three times yarn over, make them close to the top of the hook and start to make new stitch. One, two, three. Now I have four, four loops on my hook. One, two, three times yarn over and make the last stitch. So we have f five loops, yes, on the hook, yarn over and join everything together like this. And now we will make again this corner, this cup, and uh, you should make first 16 loops, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 16 loops. Now make 5 times yarn over, 2, 3, 4, 5, make them close to the top of the hook. Next take this arch and here we have switching loops to the middle chain below 2 threads, insert hook, make yarn over and make loop. Now, like standard stitch, uh, make the yarn over and draw the threads through two loops on your hook. One time, second time, third, fourth, fives, and the last one. Six times, like this. Thank you for heart, thank you for comment. <laughs> so, now you have base, you have a long stitch with five times yarn over. And now, make three times yarn over, make them close to the top of the hook. Skip at this stage, this first time yarn over when you work it here and take this area where you have second time. To this second yes, yarn over, insert hook below two threads. Make yarn over, make loop and start to make double treble crochet, just like standard one. And finish to make it. Again, one, two, three times yarn over, insert hook to the middle point and start to make double treble crochet. So we finish it to make this beautiful combination of stitches, three stitches, yes, join it together. Next, very accurate, one, two, three, four, five, six chain loops, six chain loops, and now start to make the same beautiful petals. So we take next four stitches and make one two three times yarn over make them close to the top of the hook and start to make first stitch in this way you will get really accurate result not too loose make first stitch but don't finish it one two three times yarn over make second one and don't finish it now i will make a little bit faster because i want to repeat the same like i just show show you yes so this is the same, four double treble crochet and you should have in the end five loops on your hook, yarn over and join them together. Now six chain loops, one, two, three, four, five, six. And next we will work with these four stitches. Start again from three times yarn over, make them close to the top of the hook, insert hook to the first stitch and make double treble crochet and don't finish this stitch one two three times yarn over insert hook to the next stitch of previous row and start to make double treble crochet don't finish it one two three 
make a double treble crochet once again, don't finish it, the last stitch three times yarn over and make double treble crochet. Now I have again five loops on my hook, join them together, yes. Now we have two petals and again uh, I will make at the corner the same beautiful uh, stitches, yes, um, a little bit difficult because we need to make five uh, stitch with five times yarn over. So again one, two, three, four, five, six chain loops. Now one, two, three, four, five times yarn over. Very important, make this all loops very close to the top of your hook. Insert hook to the middle chain loop to this one, below two threads, and start to make this big stitch. Each time draw thread through two loops on your hook. And in this way you will get accurate stitch. Next, one, two, three times yarn over. Find the second yarn over that we have here at this long stitch. So skip one area, go to the second one, insert hook below two threads, like this. Start to make loop, yes. And now just make a double treble crochet and finish it, yes, like this. One, two, three times yarn over and make to the same point insert hook and make double treble crochet. So we have this beautiful combination of stitches. Now 16 loops, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Now, now we will make two petals more, so I will make it a little bit faster and I will start from double treble crochet, I will not finish it, two loops on my hook, 1, 2, 3 times yarn over, insert hook to the second stitch and make Again, double treble crochet, don't finish it. One, two, three, and make again. Double treble crochet. And the last stitch, three times yarn over, make the stitch, but don't finish it. You should have five loops on your hook. Join them, and next 16 loops. Three, four, five, six. And now, one more petal. So one, two, three times yarn over, make first stitch. Don't finish it. One, two, three. Make second stitch. And third one. And the last one. You should have five loops on your hook in the end. Join them together. And after. Now we will have interesting part because we need to finish this row, but also we will make interesting uh, last uh, part, last stitches. So let's see, I will check the graphic, just I want to make everything right. Okay, so we will have one more time the same combination of stitches. So 16 loops, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 5 times yarn over, 3, 4, 5, make close to the top of the hook, insert to the middle of this chain that we have in previous row and make this long stitch very accurate and very slowly. So I have this long stitch. Now I have problems with my thread. <laughs> okay. Uh, now three times yarn over. One, two, three. Take this long hook, find here first time yarn over, second one. To this area, insert hook below two threads, like this. To the middle of the stitch, insert. Yarn over, make loop, and now make just standard stitch double treble crochet. The last stitch, three times yarn over and make a double treble crochet. One, two, three. Okay, so we have this part. And how to finish this interesting third row? We just need to make like this. Switching loops. One, two, three. The half of our arches. Each time we made six, six chain loops each time. This time we just need to make a half, three chain loops. And I will make one, I think, double crochet. Yes, to the top of this petal. To the top of this first petal. Insert hook to the top. We have only one point there below two threads. Insert hook, make yarn over, make loop. Yes. Just draw thread here uh, once again. Draw thread. Now yarn over and draw through two loops on your hook. Yarn over and draw through two loops on your hook. In this moment, we finish it to make last arch. It, sh it, can, it can be even, I think, 
travel uh, yes travel crochet maybe let's try I will try and I will see double or treble crochet better two, two times yarn over make close to the top of the hook insert to the top and yarn over make loop and now one two and three because this should be like the same size yes there's two halves I, uh, parts I like uh, treble crochet to you so I will stop on this option on this variant so now we finish to make three rows and we have petals and we have corners also uh, in this moment you can iron and stretch this part by using steam iron and after you can continue to work and make next rows yes so like this it works I will show you how it looks on my sample just beginning uh, we now have this square shape part so we have one two three rows in this moment so already one hour we have so it uh, took me a lot of time to show you but I hope you understand each part and you know all nuances how to do this and second lesson will be about next big two rows this I think also will be one hour to make this all and show you because here we have really interesting parts a lot of different parts for example this part of stitches also this beautiful uh, leaves and this one I will show you at the second lesson very slowly and in details you will see everything and you will easily repeat the same at your home so uh, thank you so much that you visited this first lesson you learned it a new new a new parts you learn it how to make really interesting stitches and you know how to work uh, from the beginning just look to the free crochet patterns group and you will find their scheme and you will see how to how to start also you will have chance to watch a record of this workshop so you will see once again this all stitches slowly uh, thank you so much for your all comments and I hope to see you uh, next time yes at the second lesson this will be in few days so you have chance to practice and just make first three uh, three rows just don't forget to iron this beginning and maybe next time you will work together with me on your uh, row number four, four and five and will be much more interesting so look and uh, to this scheme on our free crochet patterns group and very soon uh, we will learn how to make these beautiful leaves that we have now on this photo thank you so much for your attention and i really hope to see you at the lesson number two will be very interesting and will, will be very detailed for you and slowly <laughs> thank you so much i see your comments thank you uh, you are very nice and very kind thank you Thank you and bye-bye for now. See you on Facebook. If you have any questions, just let me know. Bye-bye.